As women, we try to do it all. We juggle family, friends, careers, husbands, children, and life. We often put a great deal of pressure on ourselves to be perfect at all of it. It's an impossible task and one that inevitably leaves us feeling guilty and disappointed in ourselves. Well, this morning, Dr. Veronica Glass has joined us as part of our book author series to help us learn how to put things into perspective using her book, Use Your Buckets, 12 Life Lessons for Success. Welcome to the show, Dr. Glass. Thank you, Beth. It's such a pleasure to be here. And please call me Veronica. I can call you Veronica. Yes. Now, I, you just heard me saying, we women try to do it all. We try to be superwoman. You yourself, you have been a superwoman. Tell me about yourself, your life, some of your struggles. Who made you who you are? Well, I grew up in Russellville, Kentucky, a really small town, in a three-room house, not three bedrooms, but three room, three room, front room, middle room, kitchen, no indoor plumbing. And as a result, Result of growing up in that situation, um, none of my family had gone to college. I was first generation college graduate, had my first child my junior year in college, went on to finish in four years in a semester, um, been married and divorced several times, went on, got my PhD. But when I tell you that it has been a major challenge, I've had a lot of obstacles, but in the end, I always come out on top, you know? And so it's just been a journey. And looking back on my life, and when I I went through all of my tough times, I would remember the lessons I learned growing up in that three-room house that my grandparents taught me with buckets. With the buckets. That, was, yes. that leads me to my next question. Why buckets? What made you use the buckets? Well, you're a Southern girl. <laughs> yes. So in the South, you know, one of the big things when we were growing up was the lard bucket. Lard, lard buckets. Lard. Everything had to be fried in lard. And so when the lard was gone, my grandmother would clean the buckets out really well. We would carry in water, wood, coal. Um, we would store sugar flour meal. Um, and it would serve as our bathroom. So as your bathroom. the buckets did all of those different things. Now you explain in the book beautifully that every bucket that we have matters. It's yeah. really what we do with those buckets that really is important. Explain that concept. Well, I'll explain it using one of my lessons. Okay. Lesson number six is some buckets are full of mess. Full of mess. Dump them. And so growing up, it was fine as long as you went number one, it was okay. But if you did number two, you had to dump the bucket. You had to empty the bucket, empty the mess. Right. And therefore, I kind of learned early on, well, sometimes you find yourself in relationships and you stay in and stay in and stay in. Mm -hmm. And I had to reach a point where I made a decision. Do I stay in and complain or do I recognize that this is creating mess and dump it? And I've learned how to do that. Just, okay, this is mess, dump it. Just don't wait so long. And it's such a great lesson because we often do hold on to our, our mess just far too long and it ends up affecting us emotionally. You're right, you're right. Now, what are the other lessons you have? Are, I, Women try to be perfect. Yes, we, we try do. to be perfect at everything that we do. How can you use the bucket to help help us succeed but not feel the need to be perfect? I'll give you an example. Another one of my favorite lessons is lesson one. Mm -hmm. Lesson one is an empty bucket is full of possibilities. Love that. So, so often we look at a bucket that's empty and we say, oh, there's nothing there. It has no value. Instead, it's a matter of looking at the empty bucket and saying, hmm, I can fill this with whatever I need to fill it with, you know? Um, if you wanted a promotion and you didn't get it, and, and you say, oh, well, I didn't get that promotion. Well, what do you need to put in your bucket that'll prepare you to get that promotion next time? Or how can you use your buckets otherwise to do something else that it may be that you're being called to do? And right. so that's how I use those buckets to help with perspective. An open, an empty bucket is full. You can put it whatever you want in that's there. That's right. So you used your empty bucket and filled Build it with a book to help everybody else. Yes, because that's my life goal. You know, um, I feel like I've been blessed to be a blessing to other people and to make a difference in other people's lives. And so I decided I wasn't going to complain about the fact that my salary was capped here. This right. is as much as I was going to make. They weren't going to give me any more. And so I decided I want to do something that's going to make a difference. I'm going to write a book and I'm using this book to help fill my buckets because I want to make a difference in my children's lives. And so even with my 11 year old daughter, Micah, she's going to help me write Use Your Buckets for Kids so that she can begin to use her buckets so that she can be an entrepreneur and understand the value of using every bucket that you have. You're really helping other people by helping yourself, helping your daughter, and then you're reaching out to the world too. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for the book. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I've enjoyed it. It's been a real pleasure. Now, if you would like more information about Dr. Veronica Glass or if you would like to learn how to use your buckets, just check out the website, drveronicaglass.com.